Stephen, I know uh, way back when in, in Denver, when you had the struggles, you talked about maybe some uh, some motion difficulties and, and mechanical difficulties. Has, has all that uh, you know gone by the wayside? Is that the biggest difference now, or was it just a question of getting uh, rid of the rust? How do you attribute you know eight or nine here in a row, most of them from long distance? I mean, who knows? I mean, you play this game for a long time. You're going to have good and bad things happen. I mean, obviously, I was rusty that first game. Didn't feel great. Obviously, played one of my worst games I've ever played. Um, but, you know, the, the worst thing you can do is try to just change everything. You need to stick with what gets you there. And if you go on practice and make nine out of ten kicks, you got to assume that you're going to do that uh, in a game. And just sticking with uh, my routine and, you know, my focus and just focusing up a little more and, you know, having one week of practice it might not be enough to get comfortable. And uh, obviously it showed, and it's just nice to be up here, not uh, in an embarrassed state and excited for a victory. Thanks. Jim. And I know, Stephen, last time we had you on this, it was after a day when you stood up and took took blame for a lot of what went wrong. How good does it feel to be on in such a good rhythm now and now to kick your third game winner for this team? I mean, it's, just, it's nice to be 3-0. and um, You know, you play for one team for a long time, and then you join a team with the week to go uh, in training camp into the season. And then you start off the way I did. And then I had my back up against the wall. It's kind of emotions and feelings I never had before. And to just keep my head down and grind and have some good results the last two weeks uh, definitely means a lot. And, you know, you start to feed off the other guys. And, you know, winning is contagious. Guys don't make plays. And, you want to be out there making plays too, and uh, I'm just happy that I was able to do that uh, for the Titans today. And you and you've gone without the socks since changing out in Denver, haven't you? Is that is that been your routine? Obviously, that's working for you. I mean, I just I I practice all all summer without them, and I don't know why I decided to put them on. Um, you know, you, you just you know it's kind of like a little bit like baseball. You know, like you do something, you're in a slump. You you try something else and get on a roll and. Uh, you know, I think my experience playing multiple sports kind of helps you, uh, you know, be able to move on, you know, like a sport like baseball, you get the home run, you strike out and you're embarrassed and you just got to turn the page. Uh, you know, that's what I did. And, uh, you know, I'm only three games in. I mean, I got a long, a long way to go, a lot of work to do, but I'll enjoy this one tonight and uh, excited to uh, help the Titans beat Reno. Paul? Oh. I imagine it's kind of the nature of the beast, Stephen. You're you're rooting against getting another chance because uh, you guys needed some touchdowns down the stretch there. Uh, could, what was the question? I imagine you're rooting against getting another chance at some point there because you guys needed some touchdowns. Oh, I mean, you know, you just play the game. You know, if you go out there and they call your number, you go out there and you try to perform. I think you just root to win, whatever it takes. I don't, I don't think I'd be playing for 15 years if I was hoping not to get sent out there, so. TD. You have mentioned before that, you know, without fans in the stand, you kind of pick something to, to aim at. How does that change with you being indoors at the, uh, at this stadium? Like, does your routine change? Do you still aim at something in particular? Can you take me through that? Yeah. I mean, I'll just pick something out uh, like high in the stands and something somewhere from what angle I'm at that I think's the middle. I just try to follow through my leg and my whole body down that, that path and, you know, I was getting through the ball well. And, you know, you start seeing a few go in and they're going right where you're aimed. You know, it's easy to walk out there with your head held high and go and stroke another one. Um, so you just pick a target out. And, you know, I try not to think too much on them out there. I just have, you know, one or two tiny reminders to myself. And, um, you know, don't get, don't let the situation get too big for you. You just, you're still going out there and making a kick. And, um, you know, in a place like a dome, you don't have to worry about weather. Uh, so that's one last thing you got to think about. And, uh, you know, today I had a good day and, um, you know, I'm going to enjoy it. Is it significantly different kicking without having fans in the stand? Yeah, I mean, it's really weird to hear everyone and everything they say because you're not used to it. I mean, it's almost like, you know, it's just something you got to get used to. But, you know, in the heat of the moment at the end of the game, there's so much going on and the excitement starts to build up. Uh, that it, it, it feels normal, you know, once the flow gets into it. Maybe the first couple of kicks just seem kind of eerily silent. Uh, but hopefully, 
you know, we can get some fans back in the stands at some point and, you know, get the, get the crowd back in there. Thank you. Kyle. Yeah, this is sort of a, a two part related question. One, did you ever have any legitimate fear that you might not make it to week two? And then sort of the, the back end of that is you hadn't really had many rough patches period in a career like you've had, I assume certainly nothing like opening night. So what do you do the next time, the very next time you're out on a football field after something like that to, to other than ditching the socks to kind of go back to dialing it in? I guess, I mean, no, I mean, I'm not worried about losing my job anymore. I've been blessed to play a long time in this league and it is a, a privilege. And if that gets taken away from me one day, you know, that's, you know, I've, I've been blessed. So I can't, I can't complain on that front. And, you know, I've done this so many times and kicking is like a love hate relationship. Like, you know, when it's going good, it's really good. And when it's going bad, it's really tough. So just to try to find the fine line between not getting too high and too low, you know, I'll allow myself to beat, you know, I'll beat myself up for a few days and then I move on. I just say, screw it. I don't, I don't care anymore. Like it's not going to do me or the team any good to just cower and just wilt away to nothing. So I've, you know, proved, prove to yourself and prove to your teammates that you deserve to be there. And, um, you know, that's part of the mental challenge of kicking. If, if I play bad and some, you know, coach or GM decides they want to get rid of me, that's, you know, that's their job. I, I just keep my head down. I try to focus on what I got to do to help the team win. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot more fun to be an asset than, than a liability. Do you think if you'd been someplace that you didn't have such a previous relationship with a coach, it would have been a more precarious situation coming off that opener? I have no idea. I mean, you'd have to ask them. I, I don't worry about that. Like I said, I've been blessed to play a long time. Today's my last game. It's my last game. Um, you know, we're, we're lucky to be in this position. I'm not going to act like having a bad day at the office for me is like the end of the world with all the crazy stuff that's going on. You know, it, it hurts uh, personally, but I, I'm not going to like have everyone else share my misery. Uh, two more. All right, Kayla, if you want to. Hey, Steven. Um, Mike Vrabel mentioned that these type of wins, while you guys don't want to have these all the time, um, they do build some confidence within the team. What, what is kind of the, the grasp that you've got from the team with these close wins uh, week by week? I mean, winning is tough and winning and it's fun. And, um, you know, there's a lot of room to improve. I think everybody uh, can realize that. And, you know, if you can find a way to win, the feeling is so much better the next day than finding a way to lose. And then if you're in that situation again, you know, where it's a tight game where you have to make a comeback or make a big play at the end of the game, you know, you're like, I've been here before. I know this feeling. I have confidence in this situation. And it just snowball, it's a snowball effect that I feel like it's, it's like a hit. It's like a hitting streak. If someone else is getting a hit, everyone else wants to get one too. And I think it's very contagious. And I'm sure it can be the other way around with, with losing and, um, you know, so we're, we're happy to be 3-0 and, and, you know, looking forward to the next challenge. Last one, Terry. Steven, you made the 54-yarder earlier in the game with plenty to spare. How much confidence did that give you that uh, the 55-yarder at the end was not going to be a problem? Yeah, I mean, the, the more you go out there and you, you keep making kicks, your, your confidence is just going to keep growing. And, you know, I, distance – is not something I really worry about. You know, the coaches see me kicking warm-ups to kind of get an idea for how I'm kicking it. And, you know, you know, 55 is in, inside is well within the range of being able to get there distance-wise. Now, you still have to execute, you still have to kick it straight. I think that's the hardest part with long field goals is just not trying to hit a home run. And, you know, that's where the inaccuracies come. So, but yeah, I'm obviously, the more you see it go in, the more you see it flying straight, not moving, you know, you get more confidence You just go out there and you just tell your brain to repeat the same thing you've been doing. And, you know, I was able to do that today.